So there's two things that we need to find the pH for. The first one of them is a weak acid, acetic acid, and the next one is going to be a weak base. So I've already gone and written down the equations for these. So the first step is to write out the Ka equation, or Ka equilibrium expression. And rem remember that it's products over reactants. So H plus is one of the products, so concentration of H plus, and then we have concentration of the acetate ion over um, acetic acid. Okay, so we're also given that Ka equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So we can set these two things equal to each other, which means that this whole equilibrium expression equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Now let's set up an ice chart. I stands for initial concentration. C stands for change. E stands for uh, equilibrium concentration. So we're given that the acetic acid is 0.325 molar. H2O isn't included in the equilibrium expression. And then these are just going to be zero because we're only starting out with acetic acid. And then here we see that the coefficients are all one. So X amount of acetic acid is going to be lost and changed into um, H plus and acetate. So now we have the equilibrium expressions are 0.325 minus x, x, and x. So then we can plug these values into here and then solve for each of them. So the concentration of H plus at equilibrium will be x. And then I see next we're going to multiply that by the concentration of acetate, which is also x, so x times x is x squared, and then we're going to put that over concentration of CH3COOH, which is 0.325 minus x, but there's actually a very handy shortcut for this. Whenever you have a Ka that is less than 1 times 10 to the negative third, then you can take away the x for anything that has an initial concentration. So that would turn into x squared over 0.325, and we set that equal to the Ka value here. Okay, so now it's just some really simple math. We'll have 0.325 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So x squared equals 5.85 times 10 to the negative sixth. Then we take the square root of that which gives us about 2.42 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, so x equals 2.42 times 10 to the negative third. And we also found out that x is the concentration of H3O plus at equilibrium. So remember, pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H plus. Well, we just found the concentration of x of H plus, it's this. So all we need to do is put in the negative log of 2.42 times 10 to the negative third, and that's about 2.6. So the pH is going to be 2.616, okay? Now, next thing is the basic equation. We're going to do the exact same thing. Let's write out the Kb first, which is going to be NH4 plus times concentration of OH minus over um, NH3. Okay, now let's put another ice chart in. Initial concentration we're given is 0.15 molar. We're not going to care about H2O, and these will be zeros. Now, it's going to be the same exact thing for the change because all of the coefficients are 1, so minus x, plus x, and plus x. So we'll have 0.15 minus x, x, and x. 
Now what we do is the same thing. We have um, x for the concentration of um, NH4+, and we're going to multiply that by x, so that will be x squared, and then over 0.15, and we don't have to put in the minus x because Kb is less than 1 times 10 to the negative third. That was our shortcut from before. So we'll set that equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. We multiply both sides by 0.15. giving us about 2.7 times 10 to the negative sixth. Then we take the square root of that because we have that set equal to x squared. And we have about 1.64 times 10 to the negative third. Okay. So, tricky thing here is that we're not we didn't find the concentration of H+, plus, which is needed for pH. What we can do instead is find pOH, which is negative log of concentration of OH-. minus. So let's do that. Negative log of concentration of OH- minus gives us about 2.78. So pOH is 2.78. And to find pH, all we need to do is do 14 minus POH. Okay, so we have 14 minus 2.78, and that gives us a pH of about 